Hey, Charles, have you got a second? Yeah. Right, I want you to take a look at this. I think something is wrong. Huh. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. I feel amazing. Dan here from the Zyma Minecraft and welcome back to another Minecraft video where today we have something very, very special to show you. There's a little bit of a teaser right in front of you, but today we're going to be altering with the very being that is myself so that I can change into another animal and live like the animal and also gain its magical powers. Now, which animal could I be talking about? None other than the alpaca. Yes, the llama-like creature, the alpaca, is what we're going to be becoming today. So, Grim, if you see an alpaca walking out this door in a few minutes, do not be worried. Okay, buddy? Right then. Treoris, is everything set up? Oh, my goodness. This looks incredible. Look at this machine. Oh, man, Trish, you have outdone yourself today, buddy. How are you doing today? Are you excited about me becoming an alpaca? Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's going to be absolutely incredible. So first off, we need to kind of alter my body a little bit so that I can actually take the form of the alpaca. Otherwise, it will get a little bit messy. So is everything ready to go? Yeah. Awesome. Right then, let's get into this crazy machine. Look at the lips. Look at the lips on this thing. Absolutely crazy. Right, then let's go in here. And then we need to stand on this beacon, peek out the side of it, and pull this lever. And ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I can feel it working. I can feel it working. And that should be enough. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Right, let's get out of here. And now we need to actually make the transformation. Now, this is a little bit awkward because Treoris... The ingredient I need to be able to become an alpaca is a villager's face, and you're kind of the only villager here, so can I borrow your face? Yeah. Oh, well, how am I going to become an alpaca then? Yeah. Okay, okay, I see. You saved your face for now this time, buddy. You saved your face for now. Right then, let's go into this chest here, and we have a whole series of equipment to be able to support my alpaca transformation. So, first off, we have villagers, because, of course, we need the villagers' faces to be able to actually turn into an alpaca. I know, a little bit weird, but hey, it would work. And then we've got a selection of mobs, and we've also got some different things as well, including armor, and a weapon too. So we might as well grab all these things. And here we go. The transformation is about to happen. So to aid the transformation, I'm just going to quickly pop into a different game mode. There we go. And right, here he is. Oh my goodness, Trust, it looks exactly like you. Hello, buddy. And make sure you're the right villager that I'm supposed to be killing. And I'm sorry about what's about to happen to you. Get, 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 get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, he didn't drop one. Oh no, right. Let's try it again. Here we go. Get Get out of here. There we go. Did you see it? It popped off. Right. Um, here it is. A face. Yeah, we did actually get two faces. So that second villager kind of didn't need to die. But anyway, we've got this. Yeah, it's kind of a spooky looking face. But this is what we need to turn into an alpaca. Are you ready, guys? This, this is going to get weird. I'm going to eat the face. And you just need to see the transformation. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm an alpaca. Look at my lips. And there we go, guys. I am now officially an alpaca. Check me out. Let me get these faces out of the way. So when you eat a face, you get this. So I am now an alpaca for just over seven minutes. Trust, trust. look at me. What do you think? Uh. Yeah, I look amazing. My cape is on and everything. Check this out. So something else you also get with the power of becoming an alpaca is a little momentum bar in the bottom left-hand corner. And what happens is when you're sprinting, so like regular Minecraft sprint, you build up this momentum bar and that means you're pretty much just powering up a jump. So I'm on about 12 seconds jump. There we go. Look how high I went then. Oh my goodness. And then we go down to two seconds. We jump a little bit slower. So as you can see, if I just jump with no momentum... I don't go that high at all, but if I build up some momentum and then release these alpaca legs to be able to jump, you'll see I jump a lot 
higher. Now, this isn't the only way to enjoy your alpaca self. Oh my goodness, look at my face. That's hilarious. <laughs> I look exactly like this guy behind me. Right, so another power the alpaca has is it doesn't actually eat things normally. So you can't eat bacon, you can't eat pork, you can't eat any of that stuff inside Minecraft. Carrots, everything is out of the questions. You actually need to eat entire mob so whether it's pigs whether it's sharks creepers bears chickens or even ogres you need to eat these to survive so let's do a little bit more running around let's actually go outside because this could get a little bit crazy grim grim check me out what do you think buddy yeah i look awesome don't i <laughs> oh man this is the best thing ever i love this um right here we go let's go and have a tasty little snack so as you can see my hunger is down a little bit so we are going to grab a what should we grab first let's do let's do a pig so as you can see i'm gonna chop this piggy up you can still use weapons and stuff look i'm now packer holding a sword you can also wear armor oh my goodness look at me oh man i look amazing that hat fits perfectly on my head <laughs> oh geez right let's kill this pig that's what we are up to right now and here we go and as you can see, I have this pork and I can't eat it. I am right clicking right now. I'm eating it, but the hunger will not go up. My hunger is not going up as I eat this pork chop. So I need to eat this piggy corpse. So any mob that you kill, whether it's in a mod or whether it is vanilla, it will drop its corpse just like this. And you can either break it by smacking it or you can right click it. And there you go. I've eaten a whole corpse. Who knew that these cute alpacas were so savage? I mean, geez. So let's try it with a couple other mobs oh and there's another ability too if you press the c key i can now lick things y yeah yeah i can now lick things let's bring in a villager right in here oh he's another one that looks like you treoris lick there we go i've got him i've got him on my tongue <laughs> so look i now have him attached to my tongue and i can just throw him around anywhere let's bring him around come on come on, mr villager you come around here and he will jump with me he will do absolutely anything that i do while i've got my tongue attached to him it's kind of weird and then you can press the c key to get rid of the tongue no tongue stay in no get, get out of here tongue Jeez, my tongue is so disobedient. So it's really awesome. And if I go into creative mode and then lick him and then fly, he will come with me. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then I can drop him and unfortunately... He will die. <laughs> so let's carry on and try eating some bigger things, including a shark, a bear, and an ogre. So in comes the bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. How are you doing, sir? This is the bear from the Mo Creatures mod, if you're wondering. He's so cute, but he must die. Get out of here. Ow, ow. No, he's, he's mad. He's mad. There we go. So as you can see, he doesn't disappear. He just turns into a corpse. And you can even lick the corpses. Look, come here, bear. I think he's a bit too heavy. I think he's a little bit too heavy. Bear, come here. Bear. No, I can't move him. My tongue isn't strong enough. But then I can eat him. Yeah. Nah, nah. Oh, I'm not even hungry. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to, you know, just smack him. Bear. There we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was massive. Right. I want to go even bigger now. Ogre. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Beautiful face you have there. Stay away. Stay away. I am going to lick you and bring you towards me. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. No, no, no. You're going to have to go down. You're going to have to get out of here. Oh, jeez. This guy is powerful. Take him down. Take him down. There we go. Oh, what happened to you, sir? Are you okay? I can lick you, though. Can I lick you and drag you? Kind of no. These guys are way too heavy. Look at him. What is going on with your foot? Oh, my goodness. Right. I need to get a little bit hungry so I can eat you. I want to eat you into a whole meal to myself. Oh, my goodness. This is so amazing. And I'm so glad that my cape works as well. It looks so majestic. I am wearing any kind of armor you can still wear. Any kind of weapon you can still hold. And look this amazing it is beautiful the machine worked absolutely perfectly i need some hunger so i can eat this bad boy okay i'm slightly hungry i think i can fit in this tiny snack here we go munched get out of here <laughs> i just ate an entire ogre an entire ogre oh my goodness right this is this has been fun but i think we need to turn back to normal so you know what let's get some momentum going let's run in circles for a little bit and then jump over the side of the lab here we go let's see if we can make it Trius, i'm coming back i want to turn back into a human now hopefully that is possible did amazing jump so Trius, Trius, i want to um i want to go back to human now is that possible uh. good we just do the same but reverse it uh. awesome right Let's get back into the machine. Just push this button here and go into here. And all we need to do is flick this on. There we go. I can hear it working. Oh, I can feel it working. And then flick it off. 
And there we go. We're back to normal. I can see my hand again. Beautiful. And I'm still wearing all the armor that I was wearing as an alpaca. Treoris, this experiment was... Where are you gone? Treoris, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Where did you go? There you are, buddy. You are just stroking your face on this soft alpaca statue. We need to, like, miniaturize this and keep it somewhere. Because it is, it is absolutely beautiful. But anyway, this has been a success. Oh my goodness, the first success story for a while. So, Treyarch, thank you so much, buddy. It has been fun. And guys, I'm afraid that is going to end it for today's video. So, if you want to check out Becoming an Alpaca for yourself, then check it out in the description below. It's super awesome and crazy fun as well. And it works in multiplayer, so you can lick your friends and just drag them around as alpacas. And even fight as alpacas, live as alpacas, do whatever you want as alpacas. It'll be amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then please do leave a big fat thumbs up. That will be greatly appreciated. And also, if this happens to be the first video you see by me, then please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.